No, we had we definitely had uh, you know it was, a, it was a tough game. Football's rough game, so I uh, had a few things pop up. So um, we're gonna have to look at our entire roster. We'll try to bring the best one we can up to Edmonton, and uh, also do a great job evaluating, and then uh, get ready for hopefully a good season. Just ask you about Schnitzler, who you brought in, big, big guy. You actually got a couple of injuries in your fullback department. But just thoughts on bringing him here and what he's uh, showing you. Yeah, originally we brought him in uh, probably to be the long snapper. And we were able to get Aaron back there. So, But he's done a good job of that. And we thought, you know, let's give him a shot at fullback. Uh, yeah, I do think, you know, we've tried that with a lot of guys and it doesn't work out that often, but I think we found something. I think he's doing a good job and he's he's got the mindset. He's He's got a lot of learning to do, but he's he's certainly uh, took to it and, and he's been doing a good job. Last one for me. Uh, game, you know, you're unhappy with some things, but you got to be happy with four penalties in a preseason game. That's a pretty yeah. remarkable total. Well, I mean, I, we need to keep it going, though. So we've, uh, yeah, we're working hard at it. We, we have a standard. We know that was part of the issues uh, in the past, uh, poise and playing by the rules and, and making sure you make good decisions, especially in the special teams game. I mean, I, I do think in watching throughout the league, uh, that was the major penalty was the no yards and really didn't change that much. So our kickers, uh, you know, we Cody's does a nice job with, uh, we know his height on his kicks. We were able to break down and, and I'll obviously not take any penalties. Bit of a surprise to see Jordan yeah, I, I wish him well. Um, you know, just uh, he just didn't seem to quite. Uh, he wasn't separating from maybe the younger guys, and uh, at, at this point, we thought it was something that um, we could do. But I, I feel like he can play in our league. It just uh, didn't work out with us. How are you feeling about your uh, secondary coming together? Yeah, we got a few guys off today, um, but I did like what I saw, and I, I saw in camp. Um, I'd like to see a little, you know, the ball hawks. I'd like to see us get our hands on the ball. What I like is our aggressiveness and our tackling, and um, I think they're playing with a lot of confidence back there. A couple guys, uh, I guess, coming back after a, a, an off season. I, Isaac Adeyemi Bird, what have you seen in this training camp? How big of a step is he taking, and what do you envision his role being? Yeah, I mean, we, we picked him first round, and he, he just continually got better. He's a worker. He's got a, he plays with great effort. Um, you know, I do think he'll obviously uh, be on our team here, and he'll he'll find his niche, whether he's a starter or backup. I think Isaac's going to work and play the same way. So uh, let it play out, though. But uh, like what he've got, he's a leader, actually. He's only a second-year guy, and he's already a leader, so those are good things. Yeah, I saw him and Frazier Sopic kind of doing a lot of talking with some of the new guys, getting them used to this. Is that something you've seen from both those guys? Sopic looks like another guy who's taking another step. Yeah, uh, he's got his health back. You know, he had that, that major uh, leg injury. So um, young guys like that, I think they're chomping at it to get their play time. They're, they're trying to show us what they got every each and every rep in practice and take it to the games. And uh, I thought both played well this past game.